Hello again. I'm going to keep this lecture brief uh, because you have so many other lectures to get to on this particular um, uh, uh, tab of Moodle this week is not one where I ask you to turn in a lot of work, but I am asking you to do a lot of work. I'm asking you to spend a lot of time reading and a lot of time thinking. Um, last week we talked about how the Declaration of Independence announces America as an idea. And we talked about the ways that that idea might exist politically, specifically, but not exclusively. Well, the unprecedented event of the inception of a, a nation based on an idea rather than on blood and soil, as we talked about, um, has also engendered in early America um, a, a new way of seeing the world. And I can't even tell you how radical the thinking was at the time. I have a lecture about it, but generally things that you take for granted, like maybe you exercise to stay healthy. Maybe you take a bath every day because your you know your roommate likes you better when you don't smell fishy um maybe uh you decide that if somebody tells you something even if they sound very important you really ought to investigate to see if that's so these are all radical american ideas um there are others as well that are engendered in the transcendentalist movement that has influenced almost everything in American life in subtle ways to this day. And uh, this course also introduces you to one of the greatest American writers, bar none, Frederick Douglass, the abolitionist um, who is probably to this day the greatest American speech writer um, like ever. Uh, and uh, certainly an important thinker that uh, whose ideas dovetail very neatly with the idea of the transcendentalist. Met most transcendentalists were abolitionists as well against slavery. And so without understanding these two groups uh, of people, the transcendentalists and the abolitionists, both of whom were considered by at least many Americans to be radical, particularly in this part of uh, uh, the United States, the Deep South, um, you you can't understand a lot of the, the rest of, of what happens to American literature. This will make more sense next week when we get to Whitman, but this is important American writing you're reading this week. Um, and I think you will understand better the country that you live in if you know these authors and you hear these lectures. So I have one discussion forum for you, a lot of reading, a ton of lectures. I'm gonna get out of the way of all of that and let you get started. I'm excited for you in advance because I promise you these people are cool. I would totally hang with them if I had a time machine. See you later.